We're in the process of cutting in the road that is going to our future house site. We're gonna be building that house on our own. Mm -hmm. And between here and there, we have a lot of woods and a lot of stumps to remove. Yeah, the first roadblock that we ran into with making the road was a tree stump. And it took us days to get it out. And we thought going forward, there's gonna be more stumps. We're not gonna be able to avoid them. We need a better way of getting them out. Mm -hmm. And so we researched some different ways and found that pulleys were gonna be our best bet. Yep. Or so we thought. Over the past week, we have learned a lot about pulleys. Yeah, we wanted to have this episode more focused on pulleys. Yeah, and we wanted to show us succeeding so we could teach you something and it took us all week to get there. But it forced us to learn it too. Yes. And before we show you what we learned and succeeded with let's show you what we messed up with. yeah it feels like a month ago but it was really just last this past week yeah uh it was a lot of trial and error and it started off by <laughs> well first we did our research and we found the pulleys were going to be what we we're going to do and it looked fairly simple on youtube when others do it yep. our first attempt was using a block and tackle and we made the rookie mistake of buying cheap equipment. Mm -hmm. That just didn't work. It failed instantly. It Thin metal and plastic, it didn't work, and a cheap rope, it was just not gonna happen. So, that failed. Uh, we actually bought two of them, strung them together for double the force, and it still didn't work. Yeah. So, so block and tack cheap block and tackle, not the way to go. Yeah, don't waste your time. Then we learned about snatch blocks. There's an awesome video on YouTube by Smarter Every Day, right? Yeah. And he explains snatch blocks and pulleys great. Um, not specific with pulling out stumps though. So we were trying to translate what he talked about and we got snatch blocks. Yeah, and we watched that video once and we we're like, yeah, let's go do it. Let's get out here and pull down some trees. And we should have studied that video before we came out here because we made some pretty crucial mistakes. Yeah, uh, we got three snatch blocks and rope and set everything up and pulled on the rope and the rope snapped. It failed, mm -hmm. we set it all up again, it failed again. We were feeling pretty defeated and decided to go back to one of our other methods that we used on the first stump, which was cutting the stump as low as possible and then using the chainsaw and cutting it into pieces like a pizza almost. And then we went a step further and put wedges in those cracks and sledgehammered them yeah. down to and separate the the stump into smaller pieces. The thought behind that is that you are splitting it down into smaller pieces and you're you're removing each section of the stump and ultimately you'll remove the whole thing. It works, but it is very time consuming and exhausting. If uh yeah, I guess if you're on a budget, <laughs> right? Yeah, it, if you're it on a budget, is a way to do it. That will work all day every day, but it's just it's very exhausting. We have a lot of stumps to do. So we thought it was worth to spend a little money and get the snatch blocks. After we took that one stump out, we still had many ahead of us. We wanted to figure out a way to do it, so we decided to invest in a stronger rope. Mm -hmm. And so we upgraded to a wire rope and shackles. Yeah, and it was rated for like 6,000 pounds or something like that. Mm -hmm. So we got the hardware we needed. We didn't cheap out on anything. We, we paired up the snatch blocks with some really heavy duty hardware. Yeah. Um... Now the next thing that we had to do was to hook everything up correctly, but we made some rookie mistakes that we wanted to share with you. We like keeping it honest here. Yeah, once we had the snatch blocks and the right wire, we hooked everything up, we pulled and pulled and pulled on this one stump that wasn't a big stump, no. and it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, And Very we were so confused. But we did notice something. The cedar tree that we had used as an anchor was moving, like huge tree. Yeah. What in the world is going on? <laughs> it's not doing 
It's pulling the cedar down. It's it's pulling the cedar. That's not good. That's not what we planned on. So I went back and feeling defeated, did some research. I had a question about the angle that we were pulling. Maybe that had something to do with it. And then I finally found something. So I was on my way back. It was close to dinner time. I was on my way back riding in the tractor and Meg was running in my direction. I thought something was wrong so I stopped the tractor so I could hear her. I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> and she informed me, she's out of breath. She's like, we've been doing it all wrong. <laughs> we're doing it backwards. Uh, she and she informed me that a stationary pulley is not going to give you a mechanical advantage ever. It's just going to be an anchor. You need the pulley to be a movable pulley on what you're trying to pull out. And that's why the big tree was moving because we had a movable pulley on that tree. Yes, we were, we had it set up backwards. Now, I drew a diagram to show this. This is what we were doing, and this is wrong. This is our stump that we're trying to pull out, and this is our anchor tree. This is the pulley, or the snatch block. And we were tying off the stump at the end, and then had it, the line go around the snatch block and the anchor tree, and then the tractor was pulling it this way. It was only being pulled this way, and there's no mechanical advantage to this setup. Correct. Because this pulley is not going to move. It's not going to move this. That's why it's called a one-to-one, -one because literally all you're doing is changing the direction of the rope. Yeah, the all you're doing. The pulley is acting as a change of direction, and you're not providing any sort of advantage with that setup. So, then I learned this is the way that we have to have it set up. You have the same stump, your same anchor tree, but you have to have it tied off. The end of your rope has to be at the anchor tree. Then it has to go to the snatch block attached to the stump and then be pulled by the tractor. This pulley can then move. Both of these are pulling this direction. So this is a two to one ratio. Count the lines. There's two lines there coming two off lines. the stump. They're both going this way. Yep. So then we tried this method. Snatch block set up the correct way. Right, John? Yes. We were doing it all wrong. Let's see if this works. Let's give it a pull. So we have an anchor tree over there, one snatch block attached to the load, and then the tractor to pull it. That's it. And then we wanted to, we have three snatch blocks so we can make this even better. We can make it even stronger by making it a three to one. So now what we did is we started with the line at the snatch block and then goes back to another snatch block on the anchor tree. So this is changing direction and then comes back to this snatch block, goes around that and then is pulled by the tractor. And this also worked. Hold that up and show it. The reason we're using that shackle, point to the shackle, Oops. Meg. Is so that it doesn't go like Can this. Can you point to the shackle? The reason we're using that shackle is so that it keeps the snatch block horizontal with the ground. It doesn't, it doesn't make like it this. vertical, it keeps it horizontal. Because the chain is horizontal, we want the snatch block horizontal, but we want to hook the two together. That's where that shackle comes in. All right.
we still have another snatch block. We have three of them. So we went even further and did a four to one ratio. Now this one's a little bit co more complicated. The end line goes back to the anchor tree and it starts there. Then it goes to the stump around a snatch block, back to the anchor tree, around a snatch block, back to the stump, around a snatch block, and then off on the tractor. And this is a four to one because there's four lines here and they're all pulling this way. So it pulls the stump out. And we finally were able to make what we wanted to work, work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, four to one. Line starts at the anchor over there. Here's the anchor. That big tree. It's Comes big over hook. here. It's in a snatch block here. Goes back to the anchor tree. Goes around a snatch block there to change direction. And comes this way to another snatch block and to the tractor to pull it. This is going to be a miracle if this comes out. I'll tell you what. You don't know if we have the horsepower? We will soon find out. That's what I was thinking. I hear it! Maybe. Come on, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. That a boy. That's it. That's how you do it. <laughs> you and Ricky. Ugh. Wow. Hot dog. That's one heavy stump. So, snatch blocks and pulleys, you can make it work, but set it up correctly. Don't be like us. Yeah. We have a lot more stumps to pull out and hopefully it's gonna be a lot easier for us. I feel like we've finally gotten to a point on the driveway that I feel like we're closer to the house site than we are to the camper, which is a huge accomplishment. So we're gonna continue up this way. This is really steep, this part. We're gonna kinda curve around to where John has the tractor and he's trying to get through. The problem is we're sort of dreading this part of the driveway because there is no way to avoid rocks in this section. Rock there, rock there, rock there, rock there. All rocks up there. We caught, when we first started scouting out the property for the driveway, called, we called this section Rock Island. And it really is, it's just a bunch of rocks. So we're gonna come around sort of where Maddie is and to the right where John is and kind of cut across this section. We tried to find a section that is approachable and John started digging to see how deep the rocks went down. And he got a bunch of them out of the way. Oh, I'm out of breath. He's stuck on this one. See, the problem is these rocks. Some of them, look, another funny shaped rock. The problem is some of them, it'll just look like this. Like, oh, not a big rock. And it's just, it's like an iceberg. It's just the very tip of it is surfaced. And then it's a huge rock underneath. So John's trying to get this one from the other angle.
skip that part for right now. We're gonna move forward. These are the other rocks we have to contend with. Ugh. Oh, spider webs are relentless. See, see this little rock? It could be a huge rock. And then that's the log trail. Just pretty much follow the white flowers. And up there is the house site. We're getting there. Oh, looks like you flipped that rock over. He just kept going. I think he's trying to get to the house site. He doesn't want to stop. site is right there so we're we're pretty much pretty much there that's that's pretty much it yeah we just gotta get out to the we could either go this way which is involving more rock well that way is rock too okay we might be able to go to the right here Let's park right there carport This is the yard. Ow! Yeah, pretty much. I remember them last year. So pretty. House goes here. That's very. Oh, geez. Oh, I'm glad you caught that. That, <laughs> that would have hit me in the face. Right at your eyeball. It's like a rock. Yeah. No wonder it's stuck in there so good. <laughs> 